I hope every one of you can I hope every one of you can see this. So the first work is by Latha. Right? So I think you have done submission of two drawings. First is this. Okay, so there is only one. So your final result is looking too good. It's almost perfect, but only one mistake is there. Okay. You have slightly taken the sphere into darker side. Okay. There are some light shades missing in it. Smoothness is perfect. Glossy effect is coming, but it is slightly on darker side. So only that problem I can see in your drawing. Other than that, everything is perfect. Same way in the shadows also. Okay. You have completely done it dark. Whereas there will be a flow from dark to light. Okay. The shades will decrease as you move away from the object. So make sure to correct that. Then up next uh, here, this one. Okay, so this is done by Varsha. All right, so uh, I think you are new to it. You are beginner in this uh, program. So the object is quite good, but uh, the opening, okay, the mouth that you have drawn, the circular oval portion, there is slightly some mistake and in the handle also, okay, the handle that you see. So the bottom part of the handle is having some issue. So that thing you have to correct it. And uh, in the shading also, uh, it's fine, but you have to improve if you see the shadows, okay, if you see the reflection of that mug and uh, in the shading you will see that the white areas the white spots are visible so that you have to improve shading you have to do quite slowly you have to make it smooth because it is looking very rough okay i can see clear lines in them strokes so that thing you have to improve in your work I have shared the screen and uh, everyone is able to see that. Please let me know if all of you are able to see the screen that I have shared with you. Yes, so Pushpita, make sure to do some, uh, you know, checking in your device because everyone is able to see here. All right, and uh, up next we have Gitanjali. So Gitanjali, uh, your drawing is quite good still glass effect is coming okay but there is one mistake in the shape of the glass that on the left portion okay if you see the left portion it will be slightly inside okay it will slightly go inwards like on the right side that you have done okay because it's looking straight so that correction you have to do and uh, in shading one thing you have to improve that white spots same i'm able to see so shading is not that much smooth it's not that much soft. So try to cover those white spots in your shadings. It's looking very rough. Right. So I think you have done, you know, most use of uh, blending tools. So first try to get the smooth effect. Try to get the correct values with the help of pencil. And then just give finishing touch with the brush. Whereas in your case, I can clearly see that you have, you know, you have been much uh, depending upon the blending tools so make sure to uh, improve your shading work and uh, this one also is practice work so it is done by rina okay so rina you have to uh, quite work a lot right if you are a beginner it's fine but make sure to practice because Definitely, it's not up to the mark. I can see over here. It's you know looking like some child is doing. So make sure to just practice it. No problem uh, for now, but keep practicing again and again. Right. So I will suggest you that directly instead of directly making uh, you know this kind of drawings, if you are not able to uh, do it properly, just work on shapes first, like square, triangle, rectangle on them. You first work and try to do shading in them okay make 
3D form of shapes like cube, cuboid, pyramid, draw those shapes and in them you try to uh, do shading like uh, if you are uh, making cube so one side you do very light shading then front side you do medium shading then another side you do dark shading so this way you do uh, three four different different shades in that uh, object in that shape and just practice shading first okay then up next uh, bhavna so same here in your case also some errors are there in the proportion in the shape of the glass right and uh, shading is you know the upper portion that you can see the mouth the opening of the glass it's looking quite good but the body okay there shades are missing it's you know some detailing is required in that area so just check out that what it's missing because i can see the dark shading that you have done the dark strip it's completely dark okay there are no variations then beside that the light shading that you have done it's completely light there is no variations in that so that small small variations you have to see and uh, this one by swati nanda it's very excellent work okay it's looking too good and the detailing work is also on point the uh, dark values are also obtained uh, you know correctly and the highlights are also properly done so keep it up and the work is you know it's looking too beautiful so just keep improving like this and uh, let's see your future artworks how you are making them as well right so from now just make sure that you don't decrease your level okay don't degrade your skills so just keep improving because it's looking awesome okay so these were the reviews of the recent artworks recent submission and uh, when you do it just keep submitting in the group so i hope you have uh, understood all of them now if you have questions you can ask me right now or else i am i'll be making some uh artwork so you can see that as well okay so i have a question okay sure so anyway, yesterday, I I, yesterday i had attended the class in the evening okay and you had given us some homework so i have finished the homework so right. i i will be leaving the house at 12 o'clock somewhere so can i uh, submit it before see for one student i cannot change it right i hope you also understand that so uh, definitely you can submit it before personally but the main uh, part is that you have to submit it in the group so if there is someone in your home you can ask them to submit at that time and if it's okay. possible you can submit at uh, you know 1 pm where, wherever you go you just have to submit it you don't have to do anything extra okay just as soon as the timer hits you have to do submission okay sir i will submit it then oh, okay sure okay so anyone if you have questions you can ask me right now or else you can just watch this yes you will get the recording lata no problem if you have missed it we will get the recording as well uh, which blending tools shall we get for today's class blending tools there are many types we have different kind of blending tools so here we have brushes right this is a blending brush then if you have painting brush you can use that also then if you have makeup kit you will have such kind of brushes you can use them also then cotton buds ear tips you can have them also then these are called paper stamp or blending stamps you have them you can use that also and you can use tissue paper as well 
So these are blending tools. If you have any of them, you can have all of them with you, okay? Uh, see, if your graphite pencil is not asked, let me know which uh, brand pencil you are using. Which brand pencil are you using? Sir, also. Absra. Yes, sir. Okay, so definitely see in Apsara you will not get that much dark but it's you know they are very cheap, right? So in that you have to compromise with the quantity. But uh, if you have budget, you can uh, invest on your tools. So you can go with this pencil. You might have seen I'm using this kind of pencil. So I think this will cost you around uh, 300 to 320. Okay, so you can use this. But if you have less budget. Uh, I have been always recommended, you know, recommending my students this one, Artline Pencil. So you can go with this. It will just cost you uh, 70 to 80 rupees, and in this you will get six different grades. Okay, so the grades will be uh, HB, 2B, 4B, 6B, 8B. So also 10B. Okay, so this is. The fact and uh, you can see the grades starting from HB to 10B. So you can use them for beginners, they are the best. So I will just show you the difference if I'm using you know 10B or 8B of art line versus 10B or 8B of uh, Apsara. You will just see the different PL. I have found out 6B. I am not having 10B or 8B right now. So let me just show you which is that. So what I am going to do, I am going to use 6B from Apsara and I will use 4B, okay, for this art line matching. And uh, I will just try to shade. Okay, so this is 6B from Apsara and this is 4B from Artline. You can see the clear difference. I will just show you. Okay, due to the light, you will see reflection, but I will just change the angle and you will see the clear difference. I hope now you can see, right? So you can see this 4B, uh, this 6B and this 4B. This quite dark than this one, right? So definitely brand does impact the quality. So you can purchase art lines. Uh, Dom's pencil, I haven't used them. So I cannot recommend you that uh, they, are, they are best or not. I haven't used that, okay? So I cannot say anything on them. But you can try with them if you are able to purchase this. If you, you know, have that budget, you can try with them. See, there is difference in getting, you know, if someone says and when you use it, okay? So there is quite different the experience that I have done I am sharing with you and the experience that you do that might be different so depend karta hai. so someone might like art line someone might don't like art line so uh, people have different kind of choices so you can try with domes if you love them and you can continue with them also. Uh, Pushpita Shin, see, uh, 
I know you want to join that group, but uh, that group is for our, you know, paid students only. Our advanced course students, we have that group. Which paper will be good for beginner? So, if you are doing just practice work, like we did yesterday in our workshop. Okay, so for practice work, you can use this kind of papers. These are Xerox paper or printing paper. Okay, the paper on which we get printouts. So, this is that one. So, for just practice work, random sketches, improving your skills, you know, doing scribbles, you can use this kind of paper because these are very cheap. So, you can use them. I use them, but if you are making some kind of artwork that you want to preserve, you want to have in your portfolio, you want to store. So for beginners, you can use ivory sheets. Okay, you can use ivory sheets. Then, uh, if you are doing commission work, so right now I'm using a paper which we use for commission work. So this is called uh, the name of this brand is Artlo. Okay, the name of this brand is Arto, A R T O. So you will get on YouTube as well. What are the you know asset free paper or papers that we can use for commission work? So, and just continue your questions if you have any more, or else I will continue with my work. Uh, see, preserving artworks, there are different ways you can do that. You can uh, preserve with the help of sprays, a spray. So we call them as fixative spray. You can use them. And if you don't want to use spray, you can store your artwork between butter papers. You can, you know, cover your artwork with butter paper. You can uh, do framing over that. And there is the option for lamination also. So these are a few ways you can preserve your work. So mostly we do use fixative spray after finishing our work. And then we store it in a file. Uh, you can do framing also and uh, keep it on the wall of your studio or in your room. So depends upon you where you want to store what kind of artwork it is okay
yes deepika you can use painting brush i am using this also but make sure that the brush is soft one okay You can keep a piece of paper below your hand to avoid smudging. Whenever you do shading, you have to erase the grids. Definitely, otherwise it will be visible in your shading.
How much does commission cost? See, it depends upon your skills, what kind, what quality of drawing you are making, how much detailing you are doing. It depends upon that. So, I usually charge two thousand rupees for A4 size for single face. No, we do not use water in this medium to blend. Why should we use water? It's not watercolor or water painting we are doing, okay? There are different kind of erasers, so you will get to know about them in today's workshop. See, this depends upon you how much time you give. There is no specific time. So nowadays, I'm not completely giving hope. Focus on one artwork and making multiple at a time. So there are four to five artworks incomplete, but it usually takes. If you are doing commission work, it will take around one to two days. Again, what quality of work it is, how much details are present into that reference image, and everything matters. Someone, somebody can do it in within a day, within a half day also. But again, then there they compromise with the details, finishing work. They do it roughly.
there is a mechanical band say it's a mechanical band still and the brand name is sakura why i used mechanical pencil instead of normal pencil because i want to work in small area i want to do detailing that's why mechanical pencil is very pointed it can give you very small details as well so i had used it I'm using normal Camlin brand, not any specific you know brand that you have. Taylor also, but I don't use. I only use normal one. Yes, they are also great. Brush draw also can use them also.
see there is nothing like deciding whether your output is done or not if you feel something is missing you have to walk it okay so it depends upon you on what part you are not satisfied with your work just have to improve that thing if you are done with it just finish it and leave it as it is there will come a stage when you will feel that okay now i don't want to do anything i am done then just leave it
All right, so we are going to end this session. If you have any more questions, you can ask me, or else I just end this Q and A session. And for the workshop student, we meet today again at the seven p.m. And for the other advanced course students, we meet you on the next Q and A session. Till then, you can finish your work and do the submission at the. Telegram group. So, yeah. If you have any more question, ask me right now. So, how are pricing of paintings done? Uh, I have made a separate video on that. You can check out on my YouTube channel. Okay. How so you can decide the pricing about the commission work. And we just get it on my YouTube channel. So it is art by Praveen. Yes, yes. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. So here it is the original photo. Beside it, and have a look. So it's coming out very good. Yep. Thank you. As I told you, I have been working on a few other artworks as well, so those are incomplete. So I'll show you one of them. Here, this is from my last workshop in Swaradhara Beach. Then. Here I have this drawing as well. It is also incomplete. So this looks like a real photograph. Yeah, so these are called you know, hyperrealistic artworks. So yes. then. This one as well. Then, since last year, or I think it's now going to be almost two years. Okay, I'm working on a color pencil point, and it's still complete. Let's see. I'll show you that as well. And it's quite big. It's on uh, more than, I think, around. Uh, a2 size, not almost A2, it's less than A2. So, this one also you can see. So, what animal is this? Yeah, it's a character, Marvel character, Panam. So, it's looking very good. Yeah, thank you. So, no. You are my first wrong. challenge. This was my first it challenge. It's like a color print. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yes, it does. Uh, sir, for color uh, pencils, can you suggest what needs, uh, I mean, what which color pencils we need to buy for the next course? Uh, see, if you are the part of color pencil course as well, you can. Uh, so, 
if you have purchased my course okay that one may have been that uh, i have provided you uh one course art coaching studio setup right so in that i have suggested the uh, tools according to your budget so for more details you can check out from there also but i will just uh, name few brands you can get them as well so the color that i used mostly are this one okay stellar but again definitely it's a popular brand so it's very costly it will cost you almost uh, around uh, the time when i have purchased you can see the cost is 1750 but right now i don't know the exact value so it might have changed so when i have purchased the price was that much but you can try it this fiber guys okay in a beginning stage you can use okay. them and these are around 350 okay. because in this i uh, know you get more options you get 36 colors right so you can try with them but definitely it's a completely different experience with you know this kind of brands so these are based on water color so you can use some amount of water as well you know to give some kind of effect or uh, you know blend like water you can use water also but i have never tried in this i have never tried water on this then uh, i think doms you can try with them also but i will not uh rely on that much so definitely see first of all as you are a beginner again same thing that if you experience then you will get to know properly okay there is one thing that i say there is another thing that you experience so i will suggest you to experience you know step by step go with the cheaper one because it's a different feel with cheaper brand of pencil also right it's a different kind of achievement that if you know with cheaper brand of pencils if you are able to make that hyper realistic kind of artwork i have made uh, a hyper realistic drawing with you know that upsara pencil that you have used so i will show you my drawing with that drawing which i have made with that upsara pencil only So this is a three size book. These are my few artworks. This is a three size. This is not fit up to that. This is done with the art line plus stellar as well. And here this is color pencil drawing done in twenty twenty. Okay, when we had the first lockdown. So at that time. and so so then this i did last year first month january only this one so here i have used charcoal plus color pencil and some were graphite also so it's combination of three mediums then again this one is done our know, first lockdown we had okay so i remember that uh, i had made this when my brother was you know taken to hospital he has got uh, corona so at that time i had do that a uh, sir one quick query uh, you have yeah. drawn from this uh, pushpa uh, drawing the previous yes. uh, okay. it, it's a combination of color as well as uh, Uh, pen, uh, graphite and charcoal. Charcoal, right? yes. Okay. And for this, the uh, character, I mean, uh, the letters Pushpa, it looks right. like a printed one. Now, oh. uh, how do you get that effect, sir? You will have any session? You please share it so that we will also learn it, sir. See, there is nothing different, in it, right? Uh, same thing I have done. I have written. Uh, I have drawn the no. all the border and those cuts that you can see i have outlined that drawn that then i had normally done the color pencil that we do and uh, definitely you will see those reflection also in your reference image so i have drawn outline for that reflection and i have just done black over it nothing different okay 
So oh. it's the 3D drawing that we do normally, like we make some object and we have some dark reflection around its edges. So same thing it is there. Okay, sir. Then next, uh, this one, it was my first artwork, you know, it's portrayed in this bigger size. More than, I think, uh, yes, it's A3 uh, size. So it was my first artwork in this big size. So it was done in 2019. Last month, last day, okay, 31st of 2019. Then here comes the color pencil of our advanced course, color pencil drawing. This one. And, uh, is that one color pencil? That one? Yes, that yes, it's color pencil drawing. Beautiful. And uh, it looks I like the color print. Uh, thank you so much. So it's just the practice that I have done that. So definitely you can also achieve this. You just have to do practice and have patience and uh, just. Make sure that whatever you are doing is going in the correct direction, right? Uh, I forget it where I have planted. I have some more artworks. If you have time, I will just show you, okay? If you want to, I will share with you. So this is my first file from where my journey had started, okay? This was the first portrait that I have drawn. Uh, before that, before this also, I had drawn my mother's, which was actually the first one, okay, without any knowledge. Uh, I have to, you know, uh, get my portfolio ready for my admission to college. So, I was not knowing anything about portrait. So, that was my first. So, from drawing. where did you do your course? Uh, see, I am a college dropout. I have learned for two years. Then I got to know that. You know, see, when you are learning in a college, you also get that experience. You get to know everything that what is happening in the college, you know, what's going to happen in your uh, next year or last year. So I have got all the experience that what's going to be there in the upcoming years. So I have decided that I'm not going to get any uh, extra thing from the college. So I have dropped out after two and a half year. Okay, I have left the college and then I have done everything by myself. So in college also, I have just got the basic knowledge about the shades. See, portrait, I have learned completely by myself. From scratch to this stage that I'm right now, completely by myself uh, from different, different uh, platforms. But uh, from college, I have just got to learn the basics like circles, squares, and uh, doing normal shading. Nothing extra than that. So this is also the work of my college. And this one is watercolor drawing. Okay, so I had tried it for the first time. And I don't like watercolor that much. Okay, I get uh, frustrated because sometimes you do not get the result that you want. So you get it, like frustration. And this was also watercolor. This is my self-portrait and it is after six to seven years also, it is this much only. Then these are my few, uh, you know, artworks, portraits, beginning stage. You can see the face is slightly awkward. So this was without grid method with free hand. I have done it. And again, we are also Freehand drawing, technical guruji, if you know him, right, YouTuber. So how did you store this? So you put that spray on all these paintings? No, on this I haven't kept, I haven't used spray because uh, I don't think that these are that much good that I can use sprays and I can frame them, okay? You can just keep normally in between. Uh, you can use spray once, but uh, again, you don't have to frame them or do any you know, much, uh, I can say, you know, invest on them. You can just use spray on these works. So spray, I think I have used on this kind of portraits, not small one, but this bigger size. And then just I have kept it in a pile. 
That's it. Now, here this drawing that you see, uh, these are on ivory sheets that I have told you, right? So, these are pure white, and uh, the, um, uh, the cost for this will be you, know, you will get uh, 25 sheets of A3 size around uh, 150 rupees, I think. Okay, so you can use them for making this kind of detail artwork in your early stages. Definitely, these are not acid free. So, there is one. Uh, difference in acid free paper and non acid free. So, that's you know, if you use acid free paper, the quality, the color of the paper will remain same, means they will not get the yellowish stain for long years. You have the you get that matte finish paper. where uh, I'm talking about so the acid free paper. Hello. So, this is our first drawing linear creation. Now, this is my 2017 again with the free hand. And this is a part of our. By course. free hand, do you mean without the grid lines? Yes, right? yes, without grid lines, without grid. Okay. And this one is color pencil drawing. Here I have used some brown paper and uh, I have done with the help of charcoal. So this one here you will see a cigarette. Okay. So all these things I have done by myself in college time. Okay, they never taught this making, you know, how to make smokes and how to do this. I have done it by myself, practice works. These are my just practice work. And here I have used uh, grid method. And from this stage, I have started making, uh, you know, some real artwork, realistic kind of artwork. Though the shading was not that much good, but the face expression, the finishing in, you know, all these features, I was started giving it. You can see the beard also. I have started making it more detailed. Then this one is my color pencil. I have tried to do uh, 3D like back to it. Again, these are just the random words. And this was the part of my uh, second batch in 2021. This was my second batch of uh, advanced course. This one also the part of that. And this is also the part of the second batch draper study we did. And if you watch YouTube, if you watch gaming, then some of you might recognizing he is the gamer and again this was you no know, and say i haven't thought to do this but then i just started doing it randomly and see the details into this well This was my first color pencil portrait. Okay, so here is the drawing that I was talking about in the Apsara pencil. With that 40 rupees pencil, I have drawn this. So whatever you see from light to dark, everything is done by that only. Only for dark, I have used uh, art line pencil. Okay, only for this dark section. But other than that, everything that you see, this diamond, this teeth, and here also, every shades I have got with the Apsara pencil. 
that this was my first batch drawing the journey from where I have started to teach the students. This was my first batch drawing and this is our main course drawing right that you have been learning. Then this was again the third batch artwork. And here the random drawing and all are these the drawings that you are learning right now you can see. Okay, in advanced course, whatever you are learning, here are those drawings. Our glossy sphere. You know what? That course I have made. I have drawn two times. I have showed the videos two times because my laptop was hacked and my complete recording was gone. So I have to shoot it again for one month. And this is our cat. You will see same drawing of that also. So you have, you know, experience my whole journey how i was doing in the beginning the starting stage and then where i'm right now how much improvement i have done this is our gray scale so you have to just keep doing such kind of you know small small studies small small drawings and you will have to improve as well this is my random watercolor you can see my Detailing and the result is not that much good, I know. And then here comes our chart for one, okay? Drawing. So you have this one as well in your course, right? So, yeah, this is my file from starting to end. I hope you have got some kind of motivation as well. So it doesn't matter that who you are, you can learn art, just that you have to practice. You can see the clear difference. The starting one, the starting days, and right now you can see from where to where I have reached. Okay, there are a few artworks uh, that are hanging on my wall right now. So. Yep, if you also want to learn, you will get to know in today's session. So make sure to attend that also. Yes, sir. Okay, great. So, yep, for the last time, it's my duty to ask you. So, if you have any question, you can ask me, or else I will take your leave and you can do your work. We'll ask in next session, sir. Okay, sure. So, thank you and uh, see you today in the workshop. Bye-bye and uh, take care, all of you. Have a nice day. And you. Thank you, sir.